consider the points A with coordinates 1 to 3, B with coordinates K negative to 1, and C with coordinates 5, 0, 2, where K is real. A, write down a B vector and a C vector to mark. So we need to find the coordinates of a B vector. How to find the coordinates of a vector? It can be found as coordinates of the endpoint minus the coordinates of the starting point. So it becomes K minus 1, negative 2 uh, minus 2, which is negative 4. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And we need uh, the coordinates of a C vector and they are 5 minus 1, 4, 0 minus 2, negative 2, 2 minus 3, negative 1. The next, B. Given that the points A, B and C lie on a straight line, show that K is 9, 1 mark. A, B and C lie on a straight line. And with, with respect to uh, the vectors, what does it mean? It means that if we consider two vectors, for example, A, B and A, C or any other combination, does it matter? Such uh, vectors will be parallel and if two vectors are parallel, uh, for example, 3, uh, 4 vector and uh, a vector with coordinates 30, 40 are parallel. Why? Because one vector can be represented as uh, constant multiplied by uh, another vector, for example, this vector is 1 over 10. Uh, multiplied by this vector, it, it uh, uh, just uh, means that uh, uh, this vector is uh, in the same direction but uh, 10 times shorter. Or two vectors, if two vectors are parallel, their coordinates are proportional. 3 over 30 is the same as 4 over 40, or 3 over 4 is the same as 30 over 40. And, and if A, B, and C lie on, on uh, the same line, vectors uh, are parallel, and we can see that uh, y coordinate of A, B is two times larger than uh, y coordinate of A, C, and uh, z coordinate of A, B is also uh, two times larger, and it implies that x coordinate of A, B also must be two times larger than uh, x coordinate. OAC. So in general, we can say that AB is uh, 2 multiplied by AC and K minus 1 is 2 times 4. So K is 9 as required. It's the next. C. For K is 9, let L1 be the line passing through A, B and C. I find a vector equation of the line L1. So L1 it's a line uh, through three points A, B, and C. And how to write uh, a vector equation of uh, any line? R uh, it's a position vector of any point uh, on the line. It has coordinates x, y, z, and it can be represented as a position vector of any point on the line. We can choose any point, A, B, or C, it doesn't matter. Position vector, it means a vector which starts at the origin with coordinate 0, 0, 0. Uh, so if uh, endpoint is 1, 2, 3, for example, we can choose B or C, it doesn't matter. Minus 0, 0, uh, 0 uh, vector OA, it's a position vector of point A, will be uh, just 1, 2, 3, plus some parameter and uh, multiplied by the direction vector of uh, a given line. The uh, direction vector, it means any vector which is parallel to a given line. It doesn't matter its length. And as a, a direction vector, we can choose uh, a B vector or a C vector. It doesn't matter. Let it be a C. So 4, negative 2, 1. Or we can take uh, absolutely any multiple of this vector. So it's uh, the required vector equation of a line L1, which passes through three points A, B, and C. The next line L2 has uh, the equation x minus 1 over 2 is uh, y over 3 is 1 minus z, shows that the lines L1 and L2 ask you 10 marks. 
First of all, it's uh, called uh, Cartesian equation of a line, and it's a vector equation of a line, and uh, how to convert one, one to another. Uh, to convert the Cartesian into a vector equation, we do the next, since it, it is equal to this and is equal to this, we can uh, say that it, it is equal to some parameter, let it be mu, and then just solve for x, so you can see the, it is equal to mu, so x becomes uh, 2 mu plus 1, so x is 1 plus 2 mu, y is 3 lambda, oh, sorry, 3 mu, uh, z is 1 minus mu. X, Y, Z, it's actually our vector, position vector of any point, and we can see that it becomes 1, 0, 1, plus mu, 2, 3, negative 1. And how to, uh, to show that uh, two lines are skew, and what does it mean? Uh, uh, skew means that uh, two lines don't intersect and are not parallel. So, to show that two lines are skewed, when it shows that they are not parallel and don't intersect. How to show that uh, uh, two vectors uh, are not parallel? It can be shown as uh, that, that uh, coordinates are not proportional or uh, that uh, one vector is not equal to constant multiplied by another vector. And uh, we should compare direction uh, vectors y because if uh, direction vectors are parallel, lines uh, are parallel. So we can see the direction vectors for L1, it's uh, 4, negative 2, negative 1. And for L2, it's uh, 2, 3, negative 1. And we can see that uh, uh, there is no such uh, constant so that uh, uh, one vector is equal to a constant multiplied by another vector or uh, coordinates are not proportional for over 2 is not uh, equal to negative 2 over 3 and is not equal to negative 1 over negative 1. If uh, uh, it is equal to this and is equal to this, uh, in, uh, it means that uh, uh, lines are parallel, uh, vectors are also parallel, but if uh, here is not equal or uh, here is not equal it means that uh, two vectors are not parallel. So it means that L1 and L2 are not parallel. How to uh, find the point uh, of uh, intersection of two lines in uh, uh, general? As usual, point of intersection, uh, it's uh, simultaneous equations. So we should consider x is equal to x, y is equal to y, z is equal to z, and so it becomes x for L1, 1 plus for lambda uh, should be equal to 1 plus 2 mu, y coordinate it's uh, 2 minus 2 lambda is uh, 3 mu, 1, uh, not 1, 3 minus lambda is uh, 1 minus mu. An idea is the next. We try to find the point of intersection and finally we will get that uh, there is no a unique solution. And if question is to find the point of intersection, you should do absolutely the same. Consider simultaneous equations and uh, try to solve it, to try to find a unique solution. And if you get a unique solution, it means it will be a point of intersection. If you cannot get a unique solution, it uh, means that the, uh, there is no, no point of intersection. So uh, we can see that there are three equations but two unknown variables. We choose any two equations, let it be the second and this sort, and uh, just solve for lambda and for mu. We can use the elimination method or substitution, it doesn't matter. From this sort, uh, mu is what? Uh, lambda minus 2 and substitute into the second. We get uh, 2 minus 2 lambda is uh, 3 mu, so it's 3 lambda minus 6. 
lambda is Two minus two lambda is three. Yes, so it, it becomes five. Lambda is eight. Yes, so lambda is one point six, and then mu becomes one point six minus two. It's uh, negative zero point four. Yes, it's correct. And then we check this third. And if this third is true for given values uh, lambda and mu, it will be a point of intersection. And if we show that this third is not true, it means that there is no point of intersection. So we can see the 1 plus 4 lam lambda, and it becomes what 1 plus 4 times 1.6. It's, uh, it's what? Uh, it's uh, 7.4 and 1 plus 2 mu becomes what 1 plus 2 times negative uh, 0 0.4 it's 1.2 hence 1 plus 4 lambda is not equal to 1 plus 2 mu and it means that l1 and l2 don't intersect and since l1 and l2 are not parallel it means that therefore l1 and l2 are skew the next d for k is not 9 let pi be the plane containing A, B, and C. I find the Cartesian equation of the plane pi. So it is given a plane pi which contains A, B, and C. And how to find uh, the Cartesian equation of plane? We use the next equation R. It's a position vector of any point on the plane. It's uh, x, y, z minus the position vector of any point on a plane dot product normal is equal to zero so position vector of any point we can choose for example a and since a has coordinates one two three origin zero 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 uh, vector o a it becomes one two three how to find normal normally it's uh, any vector which is uh, perpendicular to a given plane it doesn't matter its length or direction and and how to find a vector which is perpendicular to a given plane it's a, it's the cross product of any um, two vectors which are parallel to the plane so if we consider the product uh, a b and a c the answer it will be a vector which will be perpendicular to a given plane and any multiple of uh, these can be considered as uh, normal you may use you may use a formula from a data booklet for cross product i use another formula from the previous data booklet it's a determinant of 3 by 3 matrix i j k and a b vector a b vector has uh, coordinates it's uh, from uh, question a k minus 1 negative 4 negative 2 and a c vector has coordinates uh, for negative 2 negative 1 and uh, this de determinant is equal to i and uh, determinant of uh, 
uh, this 2 by 2 matrix and uh, determinant of 2 by 2 matrix is equal to this product minus this product. So it becomes 4 minus 4 is 0 minus j vector and uh, determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. So it's k minus 1 times negative 1 minus uh, uh, minus negative 8. So plus 8. Uh, so it becomes 1 minus k plus 8 plus k vector and determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, so it becomes uh, 2 minus 2k this product minus this product so it's uh, plus 16 let's uh, simplify it so it becomes 0i zero, uh, 0 i plus uh, plus k minus 9 j and plus 18 minus 2 k k vector and normal can be considered uh, to be equal to any multiple of uh, this uh, vector which is equal to or the cross product of two vectors and uh, and we can see uh, that we can divide each term by k minus 9 so it becomes 0 1 and negative 2 and now we consider r minus a dot product normal is 0 and it becomes and let me write a is 1 2 3 so it becomes x minus 1 multiplied by 0 plus y minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus z minus 3 multiplied by negative 2 is 0 it's 0 y minus 2 minus 2z plus 6 is 0 so it becomes y minus 2z plus 4 is 0 or y minus 2z is negative 4 is negative 4 and the next find the coordinates of the point on the plane which is closest to the origin uh, 0, 0, 0, 009 marks so it's origin and we need a point on the plane which is the closest. The closest it means uh, perpendicular distance because the closest distance is always the perpendicular distance so we need some point let it be point M so that OM is perpendicular to the plane and how to find this point we can do the next we can consider a line which passes through a point O the origin and is perpendicular to the plane and uh, this vector equation of a line will have a parameter and if we find this parameter Hence, uh, we can find the required point, required point M. And how to find it? So let's find a line, uh, a vector equation of a line which is perpendicular to the plane and uh, passes through the origin. So it's uh, It's a vector equation 
becomes we need any point on a given line and since it uh, passes through the origin uh, uh, we consider origin so it's 0 0 0 plus some parameter let it be t and multiplied by the direction vector of a given line and uh, this line is perpendicular to the plane and if it's perpendicular to the plane what does it mean it means that if we consider normal normal is per also perpendicular to the plane and uh, normal can be used as direction vector for uh, for our line so what is normal normal is 0 1 negative 2 and it's it's uh, the required vector equation vector equation over line and if we find uh, this parameter we will find uh, uh, if we, uh, we find uh, the value of t corresponding to our point m on the uh, plane we can find coordinates of point m but how to find this parameter what is point m point m it's a point of intersection of a line and the plane and always uh, any points of intersection is always simultaneous equations so we should consider the equation of a line and also equation of a plane and and uh, for the line for the line x it's what uh, it's just zero y it's 0 plus 1t so it's t and z is uh, just negative 2t and substitute into equation of a plane and uh, find t so it becomes what t minus 2 multiplied by negative 2t so it's plus or, or minus 2 multiplied by negative 2 t is negative uh, 4 so it's a t plus 4 t is negative 4 5 t is negative 4 so t is negative 0 0.8 and if we substitute it uh, uh, for t we get position vector over point m and it will it will have uh, point m will uh, have the same coordinates because it's a position vector it starts uh, at the origin or we can use just this so x is 0 y is uh, negative 0 0.8 and z is 1.6 so m has Coordinate 0, negative 0 0.8, 1.6. We need only the coordinates of the point which is closest and that's all. In general, there may be a question to find the closest distance and uh, to find the closest distance if we know this point and this point so we can uh, uh, just use the formula for the distance between two points to find uh, the closest distance from a point to the plane or in general it can be considered a vector O uh, M and find uh, the magnitude of this vector and uh, finally it will be absolutely the same and that's all for this question